Welcome to Cooking It With Nate. I'm Nate, and you'll be cooking with me today. Me and a few of my friends, we're going to be cooking and making uh, one of my favorite dishes, Welsh rarebit. It, uh, it is not rabbit, it is rarebit. And it is a cheese sauce on toast. But we're going to be making a variation using roasted garlic. So a roasted garlic Welsh rarebit is what we're making today on Cooking With Nate. So let me introduce my two co-hosts and Welcome friends. With Nate. Uh, we have uh, Jessica Nate. Zudrow. Be cooking with Hello, everybody. And Kristen Shear. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Welcome back. I'm so excited Thank to be you. cooking with y'all today. Oh, so excited, Nate! I I love cooking. I love you guys, and I love food. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I love I love you all, and I love cooking with you all. So, and cooking with all of you at home as well, watching on the internet. So, yeah, yeah. A little, nice. little applause. Yay! <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Okay, so uh, we're gonna get right into it, making some roasted garlic. Uh, so, yeah. you all set and ready there with in your kitchens? You got all your equipment. Uh -huh. well, as ready as I'll ever be. I mean, let's roast some garlic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's let's make this place smell great. I yeah, got a bowl I think full that's of a garlic. Shakespeare oh. never said anything about garlic, but he did say eat no onions. <laughs> so he did yeah, or at least before a yeah. show, eat no onions. Right. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh, I'm glad we're not going on stage after this. Oh, I wish we were. It's a lot. You guys, this is a lot of like, garlic. Look at that. It is. It is. Nate, can you we, tell we the people how many garlics is this? Uh, that that looks roughly 15 to 20 cloves of peeled whole clove garlic. So Wow. <laughs> for those of you that, that don't already have your garlic peeled, I'm going just to just to do a quick demonstration. Uh, we want to go over to this camera over here. Here we go. We've got a, a whole clove or a whole bulb of garlic. We're just gonna take the knife and tuck into one of these cloves. And just kind of pull it away. Here we go, pull it away from the bulb. You're gonna see that, that there's a, a little rough end to the bulb and a little tapered end. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your knife, uh, safety first. You're just gonna go ahead and chop off that little rough end and then peel back the clove of garlic. There we go. Smooth, nice. And then you're gonna mm. chop off the tapered end and do the same thing, pull it back. And then you <gasps> should be able to just give it a little squeeze and peel the... Ooh, give it a little peel squeeze. The skin oh. right off. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Nice peeled garlic for you. There yes. You yeah. Sweet. Look at yeah. that. It's like you're through the magic of television. I've already done sixteen done of them. The <laughs> we're all good on that. Yes, through the ma magic right. of television. So, so we're going to take our peeled whole clove garlic. Mm -hmm. We're going to also grab some extra virgin olive oil, nice. and we're going to add a half a cup to our small saute pan. Here we are. Okay. Mm -hmm. A half a cup or two quarter cups. Mm -hmm. There we are. Is that the exact amount that you gave us, Nate? Yes, that is the exact okay. amount. <laughs> um, Nate, I only more. have I only have four uh, four one eighth cups. Is that okay? <laughs> I believe four one eighth cups will be great. Oh. <laughs> great. Okay, so before we even turn the heat on, we're going to add the garlic cloves oh, right shit. to the oil. Yeah. yeah. Heat was on. I turned the heat on, but I turned it up. Okay. The Put heat the is on. It's on. Do, do, do. It's on, on the street. The heat, <laughs> the heat All right. is. The heat is. All right. So on. now we're going to take take the garlic and oil. We're going to set your flame on low. Okay. There we go. Flame on low. There we go. We're going to grab a little, little something to stir with. How Ooh, low? How low is low? I have it on a simmer burner. A burner, yeah, simmer burner. Okay. I mean, it needs to be <laughs> like ding ding, like. Ch -ch. Right. You want to. You want to be. You want to be simmer, nice and low. Up. Uh, the okay. reason for this is we're going to slowly warm up the garlic 
without, because uh, if you if you heat the garlic up too quickly, the outside's gonna get a little tough. It's going to possibly burn before it gets soft all the way through. And that's what we're really right. looking for, is for the roasted garlic to get nice and soft, to get a good, nice, nice golden brown on the outside. You also have some nice. good aromatics going on. Yes. Well, it smells great already, so I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm just ready to eat these garlic cloves right here. <laughs> Absolutely, just eat some raw garlic. It's actually good for you to eat some raw garlic. Yeah. Yeah, it helps with digestion, helps uh, with like as antibacterial, some other okay. things I might make up. So. Yeah, I mean, I've, actually, I've, taken, like, I've taken garlic pills like when I've traveled and I want my, my digestive tract to be working in full order after being on planes. Oh, that's really sad now. I meant that as a happy Aww. story. <laughs> Aw. Well, don't be sad. This garlic happen again is soon. heating up. It's swimming in this oil. Yes, that's exactly swimming. what you want. Oh you want it God. swimming in that oil and just mm -hmm. slowly bringing up the heat to it. Hmm. I want to shrink down to the size of a garlic and be in the oil pan with it. <gasps> oh, I bet that would be I, nice and relaxing. It would be so until until you're like really hot. So you have to find your cozy spot, right? Like, yeah, just a little cozy. Right now, that cozy spot is a low simmer or the low setting on your burner. So here we go. nice. All right. Um, hey, Nate, did you say out loud what we're what we're cooking today? Yes, I did. Uh, we're going to be making roasted garlic Welsh rarebit. That is that is what we will be making today. I, I, Nate, what it what is rarebit? Because I, I had a lot of people ask me if you had oh. to say it distinctly in one sentence or two or. Rarebit is, I would. There's a few different responses. I would say an open face grilled cheese is one of the mm. responses. Uh, or you could think of it as a, a fun pub snack of melted cheese on toast. Yeah, yeah. I like that one. I want all fun pub snacks all the time. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm cheese with you. That's and one of the bread. reasons I chose this today. Cheese and bread, get out of town. Just get yeah. out of town. All yeah. right, we got the garlic going. Mm -hmm. All right, now what? as you're looking at your yeah. garlic in your pan, you might start to see it uh, like tiny little bubbles. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, already. Are I do. Are, I are see you seeing tiny that already? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe bubbles. my pan is too low. Well, you can bring it up just a little bit if it's too low. Low, low, low. I don't have a gas burner. I have a what, whatever the other one is. <laughs> electric. <laughs> Some call those electric. <laughs> Booga -looga -looga -loo. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I got set up with that one. Yeah, that I did not intentionally set up. I, uh, <laughs> but I'm ashamed that I didn't. Uh, so. Oh, no. Uh, Nate, so their bubbles are like around the garlic. It looks like the bubbles are kissing the garlic. Yes, that is exactly what you want to look for is, is just that light bubble. Not, nothing too fast. You don't want like a, a steady simmer or a boil, but you just want okay. like a light, light little, almost effervescent look to it. Yes. Nice. Like the champagne right. of garlic and oil. Yes, the champagne. Absolutely. Yes. Well, uh, while this is going, we can go over some of the ingredients. Uh, one of the things we can do is get our, our Guinness ready. This is, what? We're going to be using a, a Guinness I am so stout. Yes. There we go. I'll be right back, everyone. <laughs> You'll be right back? Yeah. For, no, I'm here. I'm this. here. I'm just, you know, it's Guinness. <laughs> I really want to, I just am happy about this. Um, okay. Nate, what do we do now? Okay. You've got your pint glass? Uh -huh. you you're going to crack it open and you're just going to right. pour it straight in. Oh, that's satisfying. Just let it dump straight, straight Whoa! in. Whoa! It's bubbling! It's bubbling! I'm you crack it open and pour it right in the glass. Turn it upside oh, down. No. I'm making Turn it up right upside down in the glass. Down. Yep. There we go. There you go. Goodness. Look at this. It's beautiful. Oh. Oh. Wine bubbled all over the place. 
It's great though. Hair. It's happening. It is <laughs> happening. Yes. Oh. Whoa. That is <laughs> so good. Okay. So then I was the saying I was saying that inside here is a little widget that uh, somebody I think I think this is right got knighted for inventing the same year that the internet was invented. <laughs> That's how wow. serious people are about their Guinness Nitro yeah. widget in there. Uh oh, my garlic is turning colors. Is that okay? Or should I turn it, it down? It shouldn't be turning colors so quickly. Oh. You might want to give it a yeah. stir, maybe rotate the garlic. Okay. Give it a little, turn. maybe pull yes, it off we the need, heat for. We need a happy a medium between yours and mine because mine isn't cooking fast enough and yours <laughs> is cooking too fast. <laughs> But it's 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 going to be meat in the middle. They could be Malcolm in the middle. Yeah, just meat in the middle. Oh, that makes that makes me think of One Division, and I know we're not supposed to talk about One Division because no one wants spoilers. But I but I needed to say out loud, One Division. Watch it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, before I drink this beer, Nate, uh, <laughs> and forget everything you're about to tell us, what? <laughs> Is there anything else we should do? Because <laughs> I got well, this beer right here. Well, you're going to need eight ounces of that beer. So okay. out, of, out of the 16 ounces, so you probably want to pour about half off into a, into a measuring that cup. Doesn't that doesn't All right, let's just, can we quickly cheers, everyone? Yeah. I don't know, Nate, there if you go. can. Oh, of course. There we go. Oh, oh, yes. lean in. Oh. Cheers, cheers. Oh. Just cheers. a little sip. Right, we're at a pub together. This is a good. Absolutely. This is good luck, according to the, the Welsh. <laughs> it's good luck. I feel like we should, ask, we should ask a Welsh person. I feel like an Irish person, a Scottish person, all kinds of people could tell us. Yeah, but I, I feel like I actually don't really know if what I said is true. Cheers in most cultures are good luck or like you know like lahayam to life. Like cheers yeah. are very. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, uh -oh. Hey, it smells hey, look. so good. Janelle, Janelle. Britton. Janelle. Let's just say hi to Janelle. Hi, Janelle. Hello, Janelle. You bring us joy. You do. Thanks for cooking along with us and watching. Oh, yes. man. So far, we've, we've, we've got some garlic and some olive oil, and we got a pint of Guinness. So if you're just <laughs> joining us, you are not too late. <laughs> to to make my, this happen. I keep turning it down, but my garlic really wants to be cooking here. It's like, hey. One thing you can do is 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 pull it off the heat for a little bit, let it cool down a little bit, and then bring it back to the heat. Bring it right. back. Okay. We like to call that Lizzie and Dick, right? Off and on again because of uh, Liz, Liz uh, and, and Richard. Oh, <laughs> so you I Lizzie and Dick that. it. Lizzie and Dick it. I'm gonna dig off and, and on again. Off, off and, and on, on again. again. What? Married five times? Love it. I, I can't. Who can I count? Whatever floats your boat. If you're that dramatic and that connected. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I just found out. All right. Um, my garlic is finally cooking. <laughs> good. Oh, listen, good. Good. My garlic is finally slowing down. So we're in the good spot. Finding that nice. good groove. That good spot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're cooking with Nate. Oh yeah. So, so we're going to be making a cheese sauce, and uh, so, so there are some questions as far as cheese goes. You know, what kind of cheese do you want to put in there? I typically love doing like an an English aged cheddar or an Irish aged cheddar. Uh, you know, they've got a it's got a nice nuttiness, a little saltiness to it uh, that I feel like goes right up against the ale in the beer sauce really well. Mm. Ale in the beer sauce, ale in the beer sauce. What about a fine Velveeta? <laughs> yes. oh. you, could, you could use Velveeta, you could use American cheese. Uh, Gruyere is really nice, I like using a good Ooh. Gruyere. I like saying that's, that's Gruyere. Fun. I feel like I want to meet a say. person named Gruyere and they are going to be my husband. <laughs> the end of that <laughs> sentence. Uh, go ahead and write in all Gruyeres and hey, uh, Gruyere. you got yourself. Hi. 
You got yourself Come a on wife. Down. I can't go. Don't get that saucy right with now. me. <laughs> The world so is going to open back up, and I'm going to date so many Gruyers. You just you wait. <laughs> so, Nate, what are you stirring over there? What are you doing? Oh, I'm stirring, stirring your garlic. This, this is my garlic. Here, let's bring this over to the. What happened yeah. to your? Oh, your garlic looks. Why does very yours look good. like that? Mine doesn't look like that. Yeah. Mine's like a light little just, foam. How'd you get a foam? A foam? It's uh, well, it started I, simmering. I, it was simmering, I, and then I took it off. Mine just go. looks like garlic and oil. Oh. It looks like yeah. garlic and oil. Like little Mine potatoes. Mine doesn't look like a foam. Well, oh, Jess, I think we... We fucked it up. We no, failed no, no, the foam good. part of this. Of this. <laughs> we fucked up the foam. Uh, uh, that, was a, that was a result of my, my garlic getting a little too hot. So I had to pull it off oh. the heat. Let okay. it die down here. Let's, let's go back to the... There we go. Good night. See, it still looks, that just looks like the real deal right there. And it's just garlic and oil. I don't know how you do it, Nate. I don't know how you do it. This is why Nate is the chef and we are the chef's friends. Nate is the yes. chef, everyone. Nate. We are the self-described kitchen disasters of the world. Uh, all right. My garlic is so hot. <laughs> yes, I love Stacey. it. I see that you understand how that exclamation. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. Yeah. All right, Nate. Anything? Anything else? We got gonna get started here. Well, we have uh, all the ingredients are. <gasps> I believe you have them pre-measured, mm -hmm. so yes. to speak. Oh. I know we. We put the recipe up yeah. online, so you can check out Curious Comedy Theater's Facebook page if you're, that's that's where you already are. They... Wait, I, can I update you on something? I was, yes, I have right. a really big, I have a really big garlic and I've been wanting to chop it in half. And then, so I tried to chop it in half and it just <laughs> splattered oil. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll just ready. let it, I'll just let it be a really big garlic because it wants to be. Okay, oh, Nate. I'm sorry to 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 derail you. What were you, what what was you saying? No, I don't remember. I'm just stirring my garlic. Oh, well, if we're, just <laughs> if we're just chatting, something got stuck in my head because you brought up Dick and Liz, uh, Kristen, and I yeah. love who's who's afraid of Virginia Woolf. And I just really oh yeah, that's a great show. Found out from the Ooh. Office Ladies podcast that my favorite episode of The Office is based on Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. And those moments in art and life when you're like, it's all connected and all the things I love, love each other. Like, I was just really yeah. excited about that. And if that, if so, you're wondering, if the dinner party is the name of the office episode. Viewers at home, if you have seen some smoke coming up from my, <laughs> <laughs> don't be alarmed. It's just the oil that splattered. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Trish. Thanks for cooking along with us. Um, and yeah, uh, oh, you're using elephant garlic. Ooh. It, it probably remembers everything. It wow. All right, I love good. elephant garlic. Elephant garlic, are, they're just larger bulbs of garlic. Mm. Uh, and, you know, they, uh, similar to shallots in some ways, but, but a lot of them have like a, a heavy garlic flavor. Yes. Yeah. Nice. All hey, Nate, right. Wait, can I ask you why you chose this particular recipe for this particular day? Well, oh, I wanted to teach the world how to make roasted garlic. Plain and simple. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love Welsh. I, it's right around the time, like, we just had St. Patty's Day just passed. You know, mm -hmm. people celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So I was I was kind of inspired by that. Nice. You know, and just, just thinking about good pub food. Yes. Missing a good so pub. So Nate, my garlic is starting to get some color on it. So I'll take okay. it off the heat. Just yeah, mine it's is so beautiful. beautiful. Mine, looks like so beautiful. Well, mine looks like a wonderful. Mine looks like well-cooked miyoki. I should probably take Look. it off the heat. Let me see. Let, let me. Okay. Can you bring it up to the. 
<laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, you could probably set that off the burner and let that cool down a little bit. Thank you, Nate. Sorry that my ca I was trying to get the camera on all angles. Got to work on that tech stuff. Nah, you're good. Yeah. So yeah, we're just letting them sit because they're pretty brown. Golden. <gasps> Golden. Like Harry, like Harry Styles. Harry Styles, if you're watching, <laughs> come, come over. <laughs> Jessica, that, you've called out now <laughs> twice for for some you know somebody to I, marry you. It's great. I just, after a year of shelter in place and like being a big hearted romantic who finally had enough therapy who's ready to date again. Sorry, this shouldn't be about me, but yeah, I'm just very <laughs> it's springtime. Listen, and the I, kitchen I, brings up everything. You can't they're in the kitchen now. There's no escape. You just talk about it. <laughs> Thank you, right. thank you. Okay, right about now, I'm, I'm starting to get some color on on my uh, my roasted garlic. Just on your garlic, a little light, a little light color, a little light brown. Cool. But you're also starting to feel soft. They're starting to soften up. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not gonna try and cut mine in half <laughs> again. I just squished one, and it was like kind of like a pimple. It felt real good. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Ew. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. All right. Yeah, that's not a thing we should. What's something we can talk about while cooking that is not disgusting? Well, you know what's pretty exciting um, that I think about all the time mm -hmm. is that we're going to have a new session of classes coming up at Curious. Wow. And Jess, you and I are trying something new here. We've never made Welsh rabbit before. We're going to mm -hmm. learn about it. And if improv is something that would be new for you and you want to try it, just uh, stop on by Curious website and sign up for our next classes. They start in May, so you have a whole month to freak out about it and then get cool <laughs> about it and freak out again and then get cool about it again. I, I do tend to love things that I freak out about and then get cool about and then freak out about because I feel like those are things worth doing. Yeah. Pay attention yeah. to the things that make you nervous because you're about to learn something, you know? That's that's uh that's that's what I say. Yeah. That's that's fantastic advice, Kristen. Uh, you know. I've been around the block a couple of times. <laughs> Which block? Oh yeah, man, yeah. all over. <laughs> all over. But this this block does remind me right now of South Philly. I live, used to live near the Italian market, and man, mm. like the smell of garlic and oil, I think, I think that's synonymous with the Italian market in South Philly. Um, oh, yeah. So that sounds good lovely. stuff. Good stuff. In college, at the end of college, I lived above a bakery. And uh, that waking up to the smell of bread and donuts and other baked goods is like a love mm. language to me. I just oh, don't yeah. bake myself. And maybe Nate, one day we could bake something. I would be it's really a bad It's a totally, it. different, totally, totally different, totally different thing baking. That's a totally do different you, show. That's Nate, baking bake? with Nate. Yeah, do, you, do, you like, do you also like to bake? Or uh, no? I bake on occasion, but I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of, I don't have much of a sweet tooth, but, uh, mm. but, and you know, I like to bake. Uh, I do, I do love to make pizza, and that's baking to me. Your, no fan, fan. Is bacon. Your pizza is a lot of you out there. Comment if you've had a Nate pizza, if you've been to Curious Comedy Theater in the before yeah. time, you've had a pizza by Nate. And that's and good. Then, oh my gosh, Nate, like a mini pizza before a show. Hey, invite your friends. Comment Wait, if you know now what I'm talking about. Now we can have a mini Welsh rarebit before a show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. Yes. Um, yeah, Nate, I'm, I'm sure that you're pacing us out right right where we need to be. I'm just wondering we're if there's exactly, a, a next thing. Mm -hmm. We're exactly where we need to be right now. Right now, the garlic should be nice and golden and soft. You should be able to squish it if you have tongs or... Yeah. Or like you said, with your, your spatula, just sit there and cut it in half. Yeah. It should be nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. We're going yeah. to set that to the back burner and cool down. 
type of food. Uh, there's, Hello, there's also garlic. Another, another little thing to learn right here is about uh, a thing that we talk about is uh, residual cooking. So even though we pulled it off the burner, this garlic's still in the hot oil. And as it cools down, it's still gonna cook in that oil. Nice. Here we go. Yeah, I can see that the oil's still oh. going. One more sip of beer for this. Mm -hmm. Woohoo. <laughs> Guinness. Hey, Guinness could sponsor us for something. Guinness? Yeah. You could sponsor me for everything. <laughs> Their headquarters is in uh, uh, in in Connecticut at Diageo. Diageo uh, oh, yeah, owns Guinness, I think. That's one of the biggest liquor people yeah. distributors. Mm -hmm. When I worked in the, mm -hmm. the distilling industry, I don't know if any of my distilling friends are here, but I'm just going to plug a local whiskey called Westward. If you haven't tried it, get out there. It's beautiful. They just came out with a woman-made batch of whiskey. Uh, to honor Westward whiskey, if my friend. Hi, Westward friend. <laughs> I weirdly <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nate, um, but we need to listen to you. What? what Absolutely. Happening? Now we're gonna. What's now next? we're gonna make some sauce. We're gonna make sauce, our, our sauce. Welsh rarebit sauce. So we're gonna oh, we're gravy. gonna start it out. We're gonna, yeah, it's, uh, it's not quite a gravy, but we're gonna start it off like you would a, a bechamel, but instead of uh, using milk, we're gonna use beer, so it's gonna be like a beer chamel. So. Ooh. Nice. That yeah, sounds like take, gar Take our gar little gar saucepan and mm -hmm. we're gonna add three tablespoons of butter. Three tablespoons. Oh, three tablespoons One. of butter right there. Oh, and we got the good Irish butter again, didn't we? Oh yeah, that Kerrygold. Yeah. I love using that Kerrygold. Another okay, sponsor. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna turn your heat on to a medium heat. Okay. If you okay. find that medium is too hot, you wanna go a little bit lower, but, but you're gonna wanna start melting that butter. Yeah. And then you're going to add one third cup of flour. And do we want the butter melted before we add it or is it fine to add the flour now? You can add the flour now as the butter starts to melt. Okay. okay. Uh, wanna... the, the flour you gave us, was that um, measured or we need to measure it? I would say measure it just to be on the safe side. Okay. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I did give you a third cup, yeah. Great. Yeah, I have a cup uh, measure here and it's about a third full. So we're gonna just go with it. <laughs> Wonderful. And that was a whole bag. Yeah. yeah. It did. Um, I'm in a breaking bag show on uh, tomorrow night. And when I opened up the bag of flour, I was like, Nate, what's this flour? What is this? what is the substance? Because it was in a baggie. But then I realized yeah. we're just cooking. We're not cooking anything illicit. No, not on this show. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a different show altogether called Going to Jail with Nate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, Nate, you'd be like a great cell buddy. I just oh. know it. <laughs> well, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. All right, so right about now, you, the butter and the flour should be incorporated. You uh, give that says a you. little stir. Mine and says you. Mine just looks like a clump of stuff. Yeah, yeah it should just stuff. be clumping up. Oh, it is. As should it's be clumping clumpy. up there. Nice, okay. nice clump, but it should be cooking on low. This is where you're going to add your one teaspoon of Coleman's mustard. Okay. Coleman's dry oh, mustard yeah. for those of you at home. Here we go. We'll give you a little plug of the, the yellow can. Yes. Oh, that's any a other pretty. dry mustard? One. You here said go. one teaspoon. Add that mustard. One teaspoon Question. of the Coleman mustard. You're going to add Not a half a teaspoon of black pepper. You can go ahead a pinch yeah. of cayenne pepper. Mmm. And you're gonna go ahead there. one teaspoon of salt. Yeah. <laughs> and give that I a good stir. I don't know what I'm. I I said fuck it to measuring. Yeah. We're just throwing <laughs> it in. Yeah. And just then give it, it in, give it a good stir. Give it a good stir. You're just gonna wanna. Salt. Yeah, you're gonna wanna incorporate all this. Get the seasonings all in there and. What you mm -hmm. want to do is you want to heat up those seasonings. Just, you don't want to burn them. You really don't want to cook them much, but you want to heat them to kind of 
activate their flavor. Yeah. And it, it should look kind of like chunky uh, it, dough. Once you start to, bit. it should look doughy. Here, we'll okay. get a little side cam for you. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Getting our root together there. Okay, once that's incorporated, we're going to add eight ounces of Guinness, but we're gonna do it slowly. We're gonna do a little bit at a time. Ooh. So about a quarter cup at a time. There eight ounces of Guinness. And it's gonna be nice and thick. Hmm. You said how much again? You're gonna go about a quarter cup of about at a, a time. Cup at a time. Okay. So eight ounces is one cup, so you just pour a little bit, a little bit more. Whoa. What's that John that's smelling good over there? Yeah, it does smell good. Woo! Cook, Cook it with beer! Cook it with beer! You need the best way to cook. We are cooking with beer. We are cooking with beer. Okay, now now that the beer's in and you've got I'm gonna pull this off and give you a little shot right there. You got a little sauce going right there. Yeah. Sauce. We're gonna add a teaspoon okay. of Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Oh yeah. And this and is Nate, also what we're gonna add. Uh, what's the what texture that? that? What's the texture yeah. that we're going for? <laughs> uh, you're gonna look for like a goopy, smooth, <laughs> but smooth. It's gonna oh, be a smooth no. texture. Mine is not. Nate. I think you're describing. That's that's how I like to be goopy but smooth. <laughs> okay, and then right. add about two ounces of milk. If you're finding it's going a little too quick for you, just turn your heat down. Okay. And there we go. Also, two mine looks like of milk. milk. Two mine ounces like or or about a quarter cup of milk. Quarter cup. Okay. I'm gonna so slowly stir chunks. that in. Now, after the milk, we're going to separate an egg and just use the oak, the yolk. The yolk. The, the oak. Okay. The oak. The oak yolk. Afterbirth. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> I, 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 I know. I said the oaky afterbirth, which is something <laughs> that Michael Scott said. I've been watching too much Office. Stop me. Stop me. <laughs> There we okay. go. We're gonna stir that yolk right in there. Oh my gosh, mine looks so disgusting, but it smells good. So, so Nate, here we go. help We're gonna me out here. We're gonna get a little look over here. I yeah. Oh nice. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Get a little look over here. here we oh go. yeah, oh, that looks amazing. So smooth, smooth yeah. and creamy. <laughs> Not. So wait, milk. So Worcestershire sauce. Milk. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. Two ounces of milk and then one egg yolk. Oh, the yolk. That's what I'm trying to get here. Okay. Get the milk in the batter. So help me out here, Nate, because I want to add my yolk, but like, how do I do it? Like, just crack the egg and then. I would uh, in a separate container, like over okay. over a separate bowl, maybe. Oh, yeah. Or yeah, your measuring cup would work. Yeah. You're gonna crack the egg. Okay. And then, and then you're going to sift it out with your hand. You're just gonna hold. Oh wow! Yeah, you can hold on to the egg. What? And just let the hold let the on white part to drain the through egg. as you hold on to. The, yeah, there you go. Yep. Nice. And you're gonna plop All that right, right in here. Right, and then I throw your, that in. Throw it right in, and stir it up. Okay. Stir it so, up. I think so I put I'm, too much milk in my sauce, but. Okay. So you just okay. hold on, you hold on to the egg. Oh, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Can I Did you drop it? it? It's in the bowl. The whole egg is in its own little bowl. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing Just the rescue yolk. that yolk out of there. I got the yolk done. Okay, so once the yolk's in there, it's all mixed up, you're going to take about six cloves of the roasted garlic. Okay. Oh, and just boy. plop them right in there with a little bit of the oil. Let's let that oil get in there. I smashed up my roasted garlic. How am I supposed to count these cloves? Okay, here we go. So about, we got. So about six teaspoons of smashed garlic. You're gonna stir that up real good. 
Right about now, you should have a nice thick sauce. Yeah. And this is where we're gonna slowly start incorporating a little bit at a time the cheese. Oh, Lord. oh boy. We're gonna be using about six ounces of shredded English aged cheddar. Mmm. Now, and Nate, I, that garlic is even softer because it's been cooking uh, all the while. So is the nice. garlic yeah, yeah. supposed to be still in huge chunks? It can. It can start breaking up in the sauce. Okay. All right, so we're starting to incorporate the cheese, and we're eventually going to have all of it. Yeah. Eventually, go all slow. of the cheese. Just a little bit at a time as we're over a low heat. You turn your heat down to yeah. low. If I just poured some more beer in here, I think that will help. Yeah. If you're finding that it's too more thick. More beer always helps. Yeah. All right. Give it a little shot there to goes loosen it up. Marching. You guys, this cheese is nice. My yeah, hands good are covered in stuff like eggs. Nice. Well, you got to wash your hands. Well, I didn't have time. To, I'm just going with what <laughs> Nate's saying. And now I'm cheese hands. And now I'm cheese hands. I don't know. This is like the inside of a burrito. <laughs> um, yeah, Nate, so are we going until we incorporate all the cheese? Is that is that the yep. deal? Yep, a little bit at a time oh, until you feel, okay, there it is. You can, right now I have all of my cheese in there. Whoa, it's how did you It's not quite all melted yet. It's not quite all melted yet, but it's, if you're right about here, you can see the little chunks of cheese in there. Now, would this make good mac and cheese, just this? Oh, yeah. you I, said it was almost like a bechamel. Mm. Yes. Honestly, if you mixed in macaroni with this, it would be quite a delicious dish. Now, is that be, be very rich. What would you recommend to cut it uh, on the side um, or as a as a garnish? <laughs> Super now, rich. To, you could add just a little bit. You know, at the end, we're going to do a little bit of drizzle of uh, Worcestershire sauce that could cut it. Oh um, yeah. If oh you no, to cut I think it, I, maybe, I put all the Worcestershire in. That's Me that's too. fine. You're, you're good. <laughs> I, I can't talk anymore because I'm cheese hands. Cheese hands. Cheese hands. Cheese hands. My hands oh, is okay. Can, you're so <laughs> clean. Well, my uh, my sink's right over here, so I just ducked over. Oh. The, so wait, all take. this cheese, all this cheese is gone. So that's what we're okay. A little bit more cheese. A little, a little bit, bit more cheese. Bit more cheese. You'll find that once the cheese starts to melt, your sauce is going to get shiny. Okay. When I say shiny, I'm here. I'll get, get a little, another little, <gasps> little shininess to it. That just Gosh, looks so you're good. Just pretty. Yeah. No let's one see. wants to see mine right now. I'm Nate, let's see if we can do a, a comparison. Everybody, hold up their sauce. Yeah. Okay. Oops. All right. Really. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna. Nice. <laughs> Jessica, it looks like you still gotta let there. it melt. You're, you're yeah, gonna have to melt that cheese in there. Melt it. Also, um, while you're me melting cheese, a classic French um, technique is to eat some of the cheese. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you very much. I shall eat that. Mm. Oh, damn, it's good cheese. But we shouldn't yeah. have. We don't mess around on the show. Nate, <laughs> not all the garlic's in yet, right? Like that's still in the pan over there. Yeah, you're only putting in, uh, we made more roasted garlic than we actually needed for the recipe. We oh. did this because this way you can have, uh, use some of those roasted garlics as a garnish. Ooh. You could, you could use I that roasted that. garlic oil uh, to add mm -hmm. into salad dressings or drizzle Ooh. on top of sandwiches. Makes a good I'm condiment. I more cheese. <laughs> I like to cook my eggs in it. Oh, Little roasted garlic sounds, eggs. That sounds delightful. All right, um, once all, all right. the cheese is melted. Wow, my cheese, cheese is, is melted not. and you got a nice shiny sauce. <laughs> you're gonna pull that off of the heat and let that cool for a little bit. All right. Or Jessica's gonna keep stirring, but she's- Jessica's gonna keep stirring. If, 
If, you, if your cheese isn't melted yet, just keep stirring on a low to medium low heat. I'm back. There we go. If, if you have a little bit of Guinness left over. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Well, like you do. Oh, I did it. I said cheers. I did it. Cheers. There we go. Cheers. Whoa, that's All good. All right. Mm. You know, Guinness is actually pretty low calorie. Really? Um, a lot of people think of it as a high calorie beer because it's so flavorful and dense, but it's pretty low calorie. And also it's pretty hoppy, but the hops isn't at the end. It's in the beginning of the process. So and that's taste what I that like. the bitterness. I yeah. do not like a hop at the end of a beer. That's why all these IPAs, I know y'all yeah. love them and I'm glad people love them. I can't. Guinness, Kyle Sevens, yes. Guinness. Guinness. All right, we're, here, right let's, uh, let's get another picture of this sauce. Just in case Ooh, people are, yeah. everyone were wondering. You're going to want to, it's thick. It's a very thick, not too runny, but thick sauce that you're going to want to let cool down for a little bit before you spread it on your toast. I so right now, if you're ready, we're going to take the- I think I'm ready, Nate. It might be You think you're ready? Chunky. Yeah, but I, I can spread this. Well, also remember the residual cook time, that right. it's still going to be we'll hot and when you take it off the heat, maybe rest yeah. it for a little bit while you're toasting your toast. Rested. Yeah. Toasting your bread. Great. Oh, toasting. hey, look, it's Kyle Stebbins. Say, say hi to Kyle Stebbins there. Oh, my, oh, my goodness. goodness. Oh, my Wish yeah, I was drinking Kyle a Guinness Stebbins. with you, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle, Kyle, are you drinking a Guinness too? There we go. All right, so... I, People ask, oh, what type of bread would you use for a Welsh rarebit? Mm -hmm. uh, today we're using a Texas toast. Uh, it's I like using a sourdough as well, something hearty, artisanal bread, you know, something that, that can hold, has a good hold to it. But I like Texas toast because it's nice and thick. Yeah. So we're just going to place that right in the toaster. There we go. Shut, shut the toaster nice and up. There we go. Set it to toast. And I'm just going to give it a light toast. We're going to go light toast on this. Great. There we go. Nice. Oh, sorry. I, I had to go to my toaster to. Yeah, I went to put my, my toaster bread in. Too. My if you need to go to your toaster, go ahead. Go ahead to your toaster and toast your bread. And we'll just now, have another if, sip. I'm just going to sit here and sip on Guinness. <laughs> Nate, I feel like right Sweet. now would be a perfect time for you to tell us a tiny story because you're a good storyteller. Oh. Uh, what would you like to I hear a story of, about, Jessica? I would like to hear a story about little Nate. Maybe, maybe when you're like <laughs> 10, 11. Oh, man. When I was like about 10 or like, 11. Oh. Dig in there, no. Nate. Reveal all those deep, dark secrets. I would, I would say, no, around 10 or 11, that was the time in my life where I started to really get into the kitchen and start cooking. Uh, I was going to ask, what's the first thing you learned to make for yourself? Ooh, for myself, uh, probably macaroni and cheese was probably one of the first things. It's a pretty uh, easy thing for kids to make, boil some water, cook the noodles, add the cheese sauce powder, you know, with some butter. You know, we're all familiar with how to make a little mac and cheese. Um, yeah. But yeah, I also, I was a big fan of sandwiches. And like, mm. I would put anything between two slices of bread. Uh, it, you know, one of the things I, I posted on uh, Facebook a few days ago That's was- That's what I'm was, always uh, walking around saying about you, Nate. I'm always saying, that guy, he'll put anything between two slices of bread. <laughs> I will. I, as a kid, I used to make spaghetti sandwiches. I used to take leftover spaghetti Ooh, with the oh, sauce yeah. and meatballs put it in between two pieces of bread and go to town. But this Welsh rarebit, right. mm -hmm. to me, like this Welsh rarebit is the start of a really good open face sandwich where you could put something on top of the toast and put the cheese on top, like tomatoes or roast beef or whatever, whatever you want mm -hmm. on a, a tuna fish, whatever you like on a good open face. Or like the other day, I made re Welsh rarebit like we're making today. And then I fried an egg and took some bacon, put that on the sam like made a sandwich out of it. It was delicious breakfast. Nice. Nate, do you know the person who says that you're the sandwich king? Did you see that comment just now? 
that I am the sandwich king. Oh yeah, that is my mom. Yeah, shout out to my mom. Hi, I've met your mom and I didn't like put her name to her face. Hi mom, hi Nate's mom. (laughs) Oh, absolutely. We're gonna go ahead and check on our toast. I'm just gonna. Oh yeah. There we go. I like the sound of that toaster. This toaster is not working. There's a little technical difficulty. (laughs) Oh no. Can you toast? Uh, Why don't you try plugging it in? It was was a little loose in the socket. You know, sometimes we're all a little loose in the socket. Need to be plugged (laughs) in a little bit tighter. You know, and that's that's something that happens. There we go. There we go. I'm just gonna turn that back on. Wonderful. We're making some toast. Make it some toast. toast. Making I love toast. these I... recipes, Nate, because they are pretty, like, they're really nice and easy, and yet you end up with something that's, like, I would have never made for myself. It still feels classy, and it, it's awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, yeah this, this dish is great because it's, it's one of those uh, recipes where it's like, okay, I could melt cheese on toast, or I could just make toast, but, but why wouldn't I spend an hour with a couple of friends and make a cheese sauce, some roasted garlic and really, really zhuzh it up a bunch. Yeah, whenever my friends come over, I'm looking to make a cheese sauce. (laughs) No, I love it. It's great. It's great. This is is really nice. When friends can come over again, I think we always should make a cheese sauce. Yeah. Maybe this summer. Get all the people inside, get all the people inside with a big vat of cheese sauce. And just cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. Is there anything we need to worry about with the sauce, Nate? Like, I keep wanting to stir it just to make sure that it doesn't, you know, settle or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, if you're stirring it, stirring it at this point is pretty good because you're, you're letting it cool down a little bit. When it cools down, it's going to thicken. You may even see a little bit of the oil separate from from it, like the oil from the cheese or the oil from the roasted garlic, you'll have like a light little layer of separation. It's okay to stir that back in, but also you're letting the cheese sauce cool down a little bit because you you don't want it piping hot when you put it back in the toaster oven to broil it on top. Yeah. Oh, there we are. We were supposed to put all the cheese in the sauce. Did I? Did you put all of the cheese in the sauce? Because you're supposed to put. All, yes, I did as well. Okay. Yeah. Because I thought it should be a nice supposed- thick sauce. Great. Yeah. Thick sauce. Mine is also so, chunky, but I'm just gonna love it. Like we talked last week or last time about loving lumps. There's gonna be yeah. some lumps, but it's gonna be love lovely, lovely lumps. Love it, 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 it's gonna be good. All right, my toast, I think, is ready, Nate. All right. Oh yeah, mine, mine looks golden brown. Golden. So oh, you have part of, that is beautiful looking toast there, Ooh. Kristen. I, mean, I did it. I made toast. toast. <laughs> you made toast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't let, Nate knows what he's doing. He knows to start off with a recipe that <laughs> involves oh, yeah. making toast. <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. All right. Um, I'm happy to say, I'm happy to report that my fucking toast looks like a commercial. Toast. Wow. It's what well you Well done. done. That, is, that is beautiful toast. <laughs> yeah. So what's your Kristen, wh- Kristen, we can make toast. Oh, sorry, Nate, go. Sorry. No, no, no. You, you're excited because you can make toast and I'm excited <laughs> for you. That's, you know, for some people that's, that's a, a Big step in life. Hey, we we start where we are and we go from there. <laughs> All right. So now you have your toast on a plate. You're gonna take a, a piece of toast and your and your sauce. You're okay. just going to yeah. put a Give healthy us. amount on. Healthy amount of sauce. I would say a few tablespoons, and you're gonna work it right out to the edges. Work right. it. What What do you're you mean by spread work it? it? You're gonna spread it out to the edges. You're gonna work it. it. Work it, spread it. Uh oh. This sounds like a song. Work it, spread it, cheese it out. (laughs) 
and all, and it's just like a, a little layer. Yeah. It's like okay, a little, I have a question a from Trish real quick. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not question. coming to get someone handed. Uh... Too much beer, I think. Oh, too much beer. Uh, mm. If you have too much beer, then you can Drink add it. a it's little a bit more flour. cheese. Add a, I would say mm. uh, you could add a little bit of flour to it to yeah. thicken it back up. Or you could just keep it on a low heat and let some of that beer reduce. Um, Trish, a lot goes wrong when, when there's too much beer. Just a lot. <laughs> you're, not, you're not the only one. When there's too much beer, stuff goes wrong. <laughs> um, I'm going to tell you that the color of my sauce is not for television, but it smells <laughs> really good. No, it's it should be a here. Let's let's take a little picture. Yeah, let me see. How, how it let should me be. See there we go. Oh, it should be okay. like a peanut buttery color. Okay. Nice and yeah. shiny. I imagined, I imagined good it. Thickness um, to it. Yeah. Oh, good. Thank you, Nate. Thank you for making. And me Nate, feel, did yeah. you put some garlic on top of yours? Uh, or was I, that just just the sauce? I, that was just the sauce. Okay. Whoa. Oops. This there toast got a lot. We're gonna of load that back water. into the oh. toaster oven. Oh, wait. Um, we're getting there. We're almost done. The, Question, the Nate. We Question. put it just straight, uh, straight into the toaster, but we don't have to put it on anything. You, uh, it depends uh, how messy you want to get your toaster oven. Uh, okay. But I would recommend a tray underneath. There like you go. This. Beautiful. There we go. We're going to nice. put it on broil. Uh, broil for how long or how hot? We're going to go for about a minute, minute and a half, mm -hmm. or okay. until the cheese starts to get bubbly and a little caramelized on top. Okay, I'll be right back. Nice. I put mine in the oven to broil. Fantastic. I would uh, recommend putting the oven light on, you know, just keeping an eye on it from time to time. Uh, I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> oh yeah, just let it go. Oh the, yeah, the broiler gets away from you fast. It'll it'll just oh. do its own thing real fast. I'm just watching it. So you said, Nate, if I see bubbles, I should yeah, you're gonna, pull it up. It, yes, you're gonna wait until it bubbles on top. You know, gets a, okay. a few little brown or dark dark brown bubbles on top. Okay. It's broiled cheese. Broiled cheese. Broiled cheese. That was my nickname back in middle school. <laughs> Nate broiled yeah. cheese man. Now oh, yeah. we're talking. Mine was just hey hey talking. hey you drama nerd. Hey you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, right but about now, now you should be a, you should be about almost done with your Guinness. You should be close <laughs> to finished as uh as as you're broiling your, your Welsh rare bit in your toaster oven or oven. Oh, I, I just like dropped the toast in the sauce. <laughs> oh, oh, spaghetti! Oh, ah, no, it's all good. It's gonna just be really nice. I have, I have so much extra sauce here. Just gonna, eat. I'm gonna taste that. Mm. So if if oh, you so find good. that your sauce is a little too thin because you added too much beer, or for some reason it's not coming together, I can recommend adding a tablespoon or two of flour or cornstarch to help mm. thicken it up, uh, to help help it go a little bit, you know, help it set, so to oh, speak. Yeah. I suppose yeah. we could ask, does anyone else have any questions who's cooking along with us? If there was something that you missed or we're here for you. Yeah. Or Nate is really. Kristen and I are here to eat and drink and make jokes. <laughs> oh, but you're, you're definitely here, here for them too. Yes. Yeah. I could give you advice, but it won't be good advice. <laughs> about the cooking? Nah, but you could give good oh. advice about a lot of things, my friend. Oh, yeah. Thanks. That's nice. <laughs> Aw, Stacy. <Aww. laughs> Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> oh, we, lo we love working with you every day, too. Yeah, oh, for sure. Nate, and, I'm and excited right about to put this... Oh, oh I, I just wanted to, to give a shout out to our behind the scenes people. 
Uh, John Ten, John Tim running tech. Just give it up for John Tim. And then we also have yeah. uh, Stacy and Dana working on uh, you know, helping with the comments and the Facebook and all that good technical nice. stuff. Let's give it up for them. Yeah. Oh, oh and, and Stacy Halal and yeah, Chris it's, it's bubbling in there. for putting this whole production together and giving us things like camera. Camera. I have a fancy camera. And you can, oh, Christian, what's that? <laughs> this is my oven glove so I can take the broil thing out of the oven. Uh, oh, yeah, you want to be safety first here. Safety yeah. first. You know what else? Eating the garlic out of the pan is so good. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Mm. Mm. I just love I don't think it's nice, ready nice quite yet. Garlic. Yeah, my pup, my. Mine, I think, are still cooking a little bit. Mm. Um, there we go. While this is so cooking, good. do either of you have any uh, things you want to plug other than classes or any mm. shout outs you want to give while you're here on camera? Mm. I just, I just want to say thank you to all the humans who are currently watching and continue to support these uh, amazing ventures in the new realm of like, let's put on something virtual and live stream it. So thank you to all of you. Um, it's a fun, ridiculous thing that I get to do as a part of my job. So I feel really lucky to be here. And um, oh. yeah. and tomorrow night, um, I am in a Breaking Bad improv show. That's all up on my Facebook page. You can follow and find, and it's with a group of improvisers from all over the country. Uh, and I need to tonight go over my Breaking Bad stuff because I haven't watched it for a minute. Kristen? Uh, yeah. Um, for anyone watching on April 10th, Saturday, there's going to be a maestro performance that features some of our Curious Comedy Company members and some students from our training center duking it out in a short form, competitive, fast paced, cutthroat uh, improv competition, which is actually really code for just supportive, fun, uh, good times. So yeah. come check it out. Uh, Betsy Green, the inimitable Betsy Green will be hosting, uh, directing along with me. And um, I'm so excited. So come check it out. And then the week following that, our students have a showcase on April 18th. If you want to learn uh, what students learn, it's a great way to check out um, the results of some of the training that we've done with the students in the training center uh, during this session. So April 18th, come check it out. And that's a great day to sign up for the next session of classes. So uh, there you have it. There Fantastic! Go. Thanks a lot, Kristen. Um, All right, okay, so I just uh, pulled my I just pulled my rarebit out of the oven. Let's bring it over to the side cam here. There we go. See how we got like oh, little beautiful. spots of dark. Mm -hmm. There we go. So yeah. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take. Oh, Kristen, mm. that's looking great. I'm gonna I'm take gonna a these roasted garlic cloves. Woohoo! A little bit of the oil here. Mm. Oh, you know what? Wow, this I'm looks gonna, so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut one of these in half. Oh, nice good toast crunch. Mm. There we go. Look at that. Amazing. I um, I think I did it too. When you're ready to check it out. Yeah. Here's my well oh wow! Yeah, look at that. I mix, so then, Nate, you put it on the cutting board and cut it? I did because I like to cut things, but <laughs> that'd be probably the best place to cut things is on the cutting board. Yes, yes. So, I like so it. Nate, quick question. Um, how long will this sauce keep if I wanted mm, to make a, more for later? That's a great mm -hmm. question. I would say it would keep refrigerated about 24 to 36 hours. So, like, you could use that sauce tomorrow for breakfast or if you wanted to make a, a Welsh rarebit snack sometime during the day tomorrow. That cheese should, sauce should hold well as long as it's refrigerated. Great. Nice. The roasted garlic and the garlic oil, 
Uh, if you put that in a container after it cools and put it in the fridge, that'll last a good, uh, I would say, six to seven days in the fridge to oh, use great. that up. Yeah. And like I said, you can, you can put that roasted garlic or garlic oil on anything. It just makes it so much better. Mm. Mm. I'm looking for my knife so I can cut up some of the pieces. Cutting up the garlic. And I'm getting oil. I have made an, it's going to take me about an hour of cleanup, but that's not normal. That's just how messy I am. So don't let that deter you from doing this <laughs> recipe. I'm going to let it cool for a little bit before I take a taste here. Mm. I know. I almost bit into it, Nate, and I was like, I don't want to do that thing where I burn my mouth with cheese. Oh, but that's it's so delicious. That's a great thing. <laughs> hey, John, you want, to, you want to taste one of these? John! There we go. There you go. Nice. Oh, yay! There wow. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Everything is good. That's crazy. Can I wow. show you how What do you think, John? Really good. Really good? Yeah. I have plated mine. I've cut it. I've put little pieces of garlic. And these little guys, I think, are going to be everything else I eat today. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is beautiful there, Jessica. Thank uh, you. I'm going to show you guys my plating. Yes, um, please. It is. I'll show you. Hold on just one second. Let me reveal. It's just uh, this. This is my plating. <laughs> this Straight off the rack. Eat it. Straight off the thing. Oh, mm -hmm. it's so good. We made Welsh rabbit. We did. We did. We did it, guys. We'll have to have well, like an Olympics of cooking with Nate, where we make crepes, then Welsh rabbit, then like we do, we go through every recipe in one. <laughs> That'd be super fun. Oh, I'm like, down to do it once. Once we get a few more of these under the belt, for sure. Well, I want to thank you both for cooking with me today. Uh, Kristen and Jess, I have so much fun cooking with you and I love you both so much. And I want to thank everybody out there watching and as well as the thank everybody at Curious Comedy Theater that helped uh, support this, this fun little project that we're doing. So uh, until next time, we're going to be doing this. Oh, we're going to be doing this every third Thursday of every month. So look for yeah. us uh, the next month in April. Be doing it the third Thursday, and uh, I'll be posting what I'll be making next. Um, so. Nate, can nice. I also say that it won't always be Kristen and I. So if you are hankering to be a guest, please just reach out to us. No promises, but also Nate wants to cook with lots of friends. So I just want to throw that out there. Also, um, I can't not say that if you happen to know Stacy Halal. Tomorrow is her birthday. It's Stacy's birthday tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So, yeah absolutely. Uh, make sure to show her the kind of love that she shows the world because it's Stacy's birthday tomorrow. Yeah. Woohoo. Well, happy birthday, Stacy. And also, thank you all for watching this show and tune in next time. It's Cooking with Yay. Nate, everybody. Cooking with Nate. Cooking with Nate. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Mm.